Welcome everyone to another episode of Le Plata. Where last episode we had one of the weirdest things happen to us where we actually became a communist state. We, yeah, us. We actually became a communist state. And we did the Purge All Traders event and we had massive amounts of people leave our country. Birth rates went hella down. I mean, it was a very bad event, but at the same time, militancy and coalitions also went down. So it was kind of like, eh, this is bad, but this is also good at the same time. And that's all I gotta say on the matter. So, anyways, we are just casually now conquering the rest of Brazil, as I keep saying. Um, we eventually, we actually do want to actually focus our efforts more on Venezuela, which is why I'm moving my army back up there, is because we definitely want to get these guys out of here. And Ike is producing rubber. Yeah! And let's see, conquer all this. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah! Go right here. Let's see, you guys moving back upwards? Yes, you are. And so, yeah, we're now just going to finish up this conquest of awesomeness. And now since we got most of all the European powers away from Peru, kind of my idea is actually, if we're, once we're a little bit almost done with this war, we're going to, you know, then go after them. Because I want to make sure I can devote a good amount of troops over here so we can quickly just blitzkrieg them. Because I don't want to just be like half ass in this war and just be like, oh shoot, oh no, we have to do this war. And we better stop investing points into Peru. We're just gonna keep we're gonna keep a hundred points on them just in case if any of these guys try to be all like, hey, maybe we should buddy buddy with Peru. And I'm gonna be like, I don't think that's a good idea necessarily. We're also gonna try to get uh basically these guys wow, they they hate us by a lot. But we're gonna try to get Ecuador on our side now because we also want them to be a part of our glorious nation of awesomeness. And you guys quickly unsee this land. And just keep, we're just going to keep moving downwards, or upwards, or whatever direction we are moving. Just keep on sieging. That's all the goal is, is just keep on sieging. Let's see. As you guys can see, we are... Yeah, I I would think the French are now just, like, shaking their boots, because they're like, Oh no, the, uh, people who are in this land. La Plata, yes! How could I forget? Oh, we can now defend against gas attacks, yes. This is also gonna this is also gonna eventually get a good war for when we go against China. Oh, did I mention we're going against China? Yeah, we're eventually gonna go conquer China's land. And now with gas attacks, this is gonna make it hella easy. Like just hella easy. And let's see, business model. Got that done with. What else do we need? We probably could get steel railroads again, like we did last time. Oh man. Alright. Yeah, at this point I don't I don't really have necessary, like, really crucial, crucial technologies I need to get. I just need to get some things that are more important than others. Let's see. Can we increase our relationships with you guys? Yay, we can! Yes, now we're, no now we're neutral with Ecuador, which is good. Ecuador needs to be semi-happy with us so that we can start invading them slowly but surely. Because we want to make sure our interests are protected. And some standards are starting to be really, really uh, brought up in today's economy. So let's start getting that. Okay. I shall gain polarity no matter what I do. Do I want to piss off the liberals or do I want to piss off the uh, conservatives? Who has more power? Definitely the conservatives. So, definitely don't want militancy. So, let's gain consciousness like that. That makes it less... Less problems for me in the future. Okay, and we can go right here. Siege up this land. And we officially have siege up most of the entire coastline of Brazil. Which means they have absolutely no hope now of survival, now that we basically finished them off. And we're gonna go, uh, we need to speed this up, because we really need to make sure our immigration is as fluent and as quick as possible. Because we want to make sure immigration is very much quick, easy, and everyone's like, in and out, boom, 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 go. Okay, now you guys siege right there, just keep sieging up all the way, we're gonna soon start sieging up all of France's lands. Oh my goodness, France must be like, oh my goodness. These guys, these La Platians are just annoying. Like, seriously. I mean, this year, well, this European power is more annoying to me than anything, because they actually thought they could actually fight us. I mean, what, what La Plata, for goodness sakes? We don't let European powers mess with us anymore. Okay, you guys are gonna go crush them? Good. Alright, I'm gonna go send half my army to go help siege up some other land, so we can make this a little bit quicker, because I know this would be much quicker if we do divided, divided. And let's see, you guys move up here, you guys move up there, and we're just casually dividing all the rest of the uh, Brazilian land as Brazil is almost completely occupied. And now we're officially on the French Guianan border. Oh man, 
France, again, you guys must be shivering in your boots. I mean, this must be not what you guys planned at all. You must be like, oh my goodness, these guys are tougher than we thought. Okay, let's go hunt them down. Go hunt those guys down. Make sure that we kill them. We don't want them to start. We don't want them to have an army, basically, anymore. Oh, wow. This is going to be overkill, but we're going to have this many troops there to go block them up. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was completely unnecessary, but completely necessary. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, we just slaughtered those troops out of complete and utter merciless joy. And we just got more railroads, and I think we're going to go into combustion engine. And let's see, let's move our troops. Well, actually, once we siege up all this, then I'll move my troops. Uh, Panama dividends are going well. This is this is all going quite fairly well. Okay, once you guys siege up here, I'm going to figure out which side you guys are going to. You guys are moving over there. I'll move over here. And there we go. Let's see, you guys are sieging up this. And let's finally siege up the last little bit over here so that basically France has no access over here. And I can now increase my relationships with Ecuador again. Which I will do, because I want to make sure Ecuador and I are good buddies. And America, we're still good buddies, right, America? Yes, we are. Yes, we are, America. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Uh, it's like it's like giving a, it's like giving a, a puppy a treat. Like, yes, America, we're still good, right? Even though we're, like, stealing your, stealing your colonies down here. Or not colonies. Stealing your um, spheres of influence, right? Yes, we are. Good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay. So let's see, we're going to be moving in slowly but surely into this land. You guys give me what we want. No, that's not what we want. We definitely want one thing and one thing only. And that is the total, that is the total conquest of all this. Well, if we could get both, I would love to get both, but I'm pretty sure we won't be able to get both. Because I'm pretty sure France is unwilling to negotiate that far ahead. And I'm pretty sure we actually can't get uh, La Plata to agree to this. At least anytime soon. So, yeah. We're just going to casually move in. They're going to go kill that army, which is good. And we'll try, we try. should start stopping all these troop maker places. Because they're kind of annoying me. But this is the last place they can make troops. So, kudos to them. We shall attend anyways. Even if, even if they were completely mad at us and did some things we didn't like, we'll totally go to the meetings. Okay. And let's see... Yep, and as you guys can see, Brazil is almost completely sieged up. We now have a lot of the French land sieged up. We even have French land sieged up. Let's see, back over here in Africa, still no one? Oh, shoot, and we actually get colonization now. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, what would be the biggest region we could take? Okay, um... You know, we could actually try to compete with the Netherlands, or... F oh, my goodness, no, we could not compete with the British... But if we compete with the British, we might be able to get this land over here. Uh, can we compete with the British? We could try. We can at least try. I could. We can at least indulge it. We can at least try to compete with the British. And yeah, that's who I'll keep it at. I mean, I don't think we're going to succeed, but we can at least try. Okay. Over here, we're also going to keep sieging up all this land. Oh my goodness. Yeah. You guys are basically done for. Let's see, you guys are almost done for. Chile is moving their troops in to go siege up the rest of this land. Yeah, Brazil's going to have a tough time recovering from this after we're done. I mean, they're going to... This is not going to be a war they're going to be able to recover from anytime soon. Like, their economy is now completely dead and dying. And there's not much they can really do about it because it's dead and dying. Oi, just destroy those troops. And there we go. Let's see, you guys moving towards the capital? No. You guys are actually moving away, which is kind of weird. I'll move towards the capital then. If you guys will move towards the capital, I'll move towards the capital. Okay. Let's see. Let's go conquer the capital. Yeah, you guys die. Let's see, you guys go right here, then go right there. And invest in outer house of land. Let's see. Yeah. I'm keeping up with you, Britain. What up? I'm keeping up with you. I'm not letting you, I'm not letting you, like... I'll produce me. Let's see. And uh, France is completely at a loss for what they should do because they're just, they're honestly losing everything. <laughs> they honestly lost a lot of stuff in this war and there's not much they can really do about it. 
because they're not sending in any troops, which is good. Oh, they finally sent in some troops over there. Okay, well, once we're done sieging up all this land over here, I'll go deal with them. Right now, it's not really a good time to go deal with them. And I wish I could individually piece you out. This would make my life so much easier. Okay, would you guys accept this yet? No, you guys would only accept that. Well, then, I'm not going to I'm not gonna give up, Venice. I mean, not Venice. Uh, Brazil? No, uh, France. There's the nation I was looking for. And now Ecuador is friendly with me. Which is good, because then I'll soon be able to influence them to be mine. Hopefully America won't fight me back too much, because I just want to make sure that they aren't happy with these people. Because if they're happy with these people, that means they could potentially enter in a war with them. Which is something I don't want. And let's see, all G output's good. Keep going down the line, let's see. Oh, yes! Anti-rationalization, everyone. The last little bit of bonus to our economy. Let's see, let's go right there, let's go right there. Oh my goodness, look at all this sieged up land, man. Look at all that sieged up land. Just so beautiful. So beautiful. Uh, too bad we can't just take them all right now. That'd be nice. Let's see. You guys about... No. France. I don't want this. Okay. I know you think you know what I want, but I don't want this. I want something different. Okay. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go fight you in a second, France. Just give me a second. I have to go deal with... Seeding up the last little bits of this land, and I'll go send my army down there to go kill you. And let's see, all these troops over here can siege up all this. Research time's even better. Out of Hauser land. Like, this is the only place we can actually go to. Hopefully, Great Britain won't be too much. Whoa! Wow! That is like a major state everyone's competing for. Whoo wee! Oh man, hopefully Amer hopefully Austria or the British Oh wow! Man! Damn, these colonial races are heavy. <laughs> Everyone's trying to become a colonial power. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, we're gonna finish up the rest of these uh sieges. Once these sieges are done, then we can probably go do more stuff. Uh let's see, what do you guys want right now? Good pensions. Let's just finally get the good pensions so that we know how much we're paying our old people from here on into the end of the game, which will really help us out with payments. Like, cause I don't have to pay that, cause then I can actually, they can actually schedule it for when I want to pay them or when I cannot. Okay, kind of my dividends. That's good. Okay, and let's see. You guys about ready to give me what I want? No. Ah, France, 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 France. Give me that, and I'll be happy. Okay, give me that, and I will be happy. That's all you need to give me, and I'll be happy. I don't even need anything else. Ethnic flavor? Of course, as we always say, gain 2.0 prestige. And let's see. Uh, we should try again, of course. We will keep trying until like we give up, or until our men die. Either way, it works both ways. And there we go. The last little bit conquered. Now we need to go corner this little army right here. Go corner this army right here. And these guys are going to go engage, which is going to end in them dying. So, not exactly good for us. And over here, it seems like Chile's going to be able to siege up the rest of this. Which means, basically, we basically block out France, and they can't really do anything. Out here and out of Hauser land, um, we're going to keep trying. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure the British can't keep this up for every single colonial region. But I'm not sure. Like, apparently, all these colonial races are, uh, wow, the, these are, like, hella, like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> these guys, these guys are all competing with each other. They're all, like, in competition. Okay, send the 42k to go fight these guys. We need to make sure that we destroy these French guys. And you guys need to go kill those rebels. And the first of the North Pole, yay! Ha ha! First the North Pole, yeah, respect. Okay, there we go. Ah, uh, you guys, no, don't want this. I want this. Give me that, and we'll be fine. Okay, and let's go right here. And you guys are gonna siege up that land. You guys can go help. I'm just gonna let Chile go siege up that land. And yeah, we could go return our troops to our borders. Yeah, there's not. Uh, there's not really much that the French can really do now. I'm gonna go send my army, gonna go send an army to go deal with the French army. And yeah. This is the end of them. <laughs> Quite frankly, the French can't really do much. I have it all sieged up. 
everything. Defender's occupation, defender's blockade. Get that away from them, and they basically lost everything. But I'm getting so much war score right now from that uh, war goal. It's eventually going to tie up to them. Let's see. You know, because I want to make this quick, I'm probably going to move my troops over here into position. What do I mean position for what? I probably will go just go conquer Peru right now. Because literally the only allies are one person. Like, this is the golden opportunity to go conquer Peru. No one else is their friend. This is the only opportunity. I should go do it. The only problem is, is that now we're starting to suffer some taxation problems. So, quick solution. Just tax my people to the utmost. They don't really like it, but... Eh. My taxation my taxing does work eventually. Life support is a little bit better. Let's see. Go back to the British lands. The British don't seem like they're giving up anytime soon. <sighs> Just keep trying. We're going to keep trying to gain that colony. Because then we can actually gain a northernmost colony up here. Uh, no. That's not what I want, France. You guys know what I want. Give me what I want. Okay. Hopefully, the Colombians won't die in this exchange. Hopefully, come on. Come on, Colombia. I give you guys more credit than you're worth. Come on. Please be a useful vassal in this. Please be a useful vassal. Oh, my goodness. They're going to cost me a battle. They're going to cost me a battle, guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is making me mad. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. No, don't cost me a battle. Don't cost me a battle. I do not want that. I do not want that. Let's go right here, go kick out these guys. So now the battle is basically won by us. And now France is going to go retreat. They also got another losing battle, so now they're even like, Oh no! Oh, wait, they didn't get the losing battle? Okay, where are they moving to? Uh, Talakia. Go right here, go kill them in Talakia. So we can go and conquer them. Yeah, now, oh yeah, 42 versus 11. This is going to be 13. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, oh, damn, they're going to escape, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Quick way to deal with this to make sure they don't escape. Go send them in. Go. This is the quickest way to make sure they don't escape. My guy should not die. And I should be able to reach him in time. And that makes it all good. And let's see. We have most of our soldiers all ready for our conquest of Peru. I'll just initiate that just so we can get that over with. Chile, very likely. Yeah, I make sure no great powers. No great powers. Okay. Let's go do this. Okay. What? Chili? You guys weren't supposed to say no. Oh man. Oh wow. Yeah, I don't I think I think the British basically won that. I I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to do much around there. They basically won that battle. Oh my goodness. It was a good fight though. I did try, but yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Okay, before my dad thought there was more people. I was like, oh my goodness, there's more people wanting to fight me now? What, do the British now hate me because I am expansionistic? I mean, I know I'm expansionistic, but still. Alright, let's see. So, you guys go right here, you guys go right there. And... You guys go right there. Make sure that we just... Alright, and boom! Oh, you guys killed my one soldier. You guys are jerks. Oh, that that was a that was a mean move. You guys killed my one soldier. I love that one soldier. He was like my bro. Oh my goodness. And let's see. Wow, these guys are gonna get all slaughtered. And we could probably go send these guys over here. Hey, Chili. I'm gonna form an alliance with you again. And then you're gonna accept my call to arms. Okay? Because honestly, Chile, this war is going to be very quick. It's just... Uh, Comet Sighted! Yay! And in this game, Comet Sighted is not a bad event. Yay! It's a good scientific investment. America wants an alliance. Of course, America. And let's see, Chile. Calling you in. You guys are coming in. Oh, wow. They're not coming in probably because of this other war. Let's see, you guys going to... No. France. I don't want that. I want this. I have I have the capacity to take this war all the way to 100%. I don't believe you guys do. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's just keep invading. We're just going to invade all this land up here in the north. 
Let's see, we got this all sieged up. You guys are not at war with where I want you guys to be at. You guys have to come in this war, so hee <laughs> hee. Alright, and I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.